And now, we welcome the leader of Team Two on Seven Days. It's Die Henwood. So, sorry, I'm 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 trying to get shredded for rhythm and vines, and I'm. <laughs> I know it's a long way out, but I've got body image issues and I've only been working my glory muscles and I, I, I got rid of the muffin top, but I can't quite get my thigh gap. So I just, you know, when I want to get to a festival, I just want to be shredded. I just want to be like abs, dick, legs. <laughs> now, you, you look at the study. You're so gorgeous out there. Ladies, you're looking beautiful. Looking beautiful, I got one thing, there's not enough scrunchies going on. What happened to the scrunchie? Everyone's rocking the hair tie. You want to rock a scrunchie, it's a statement. You can base an outfit around a scrunchie, right? A scrunchie, boom, you can rock a high pony, you're doing less damage to your hair follicles. You look after yourself, man. Also, I went to the zoo. There's, there's palm oil in hair ties. The palm oil's bad. They gave me a pamphlet at the zoo. It makes orangutans cut down the rainforest or something. I, I didn't read the whole pamphlet, but palm oil's not good. And it's in your hair tie, so get the scrunchie on. Because also, you reuse a scrunchie. Hair tie, ladies, you put a hair tie on, eh? Because you bought a barrel of them or whatever, eh? You pop it, put a hair tie on, it's gone. You don't pick it up, eh? Just back into the barrel for another hair tie. I lift up a teaspoon in my house and there's four bloody hair ties under it. <laughs> right, now, I'm here to give you a wee bit of advice tonight. If you want to stay together with your partner for the rest of your life, you have to remember one thing. Always be just as drunk as each other. <laughs> never be more drunk, never be less drunk. Just be as drunk and I'll work out. Right, say when you're getting older, you want to try something different, so you would go to a meditation class. Here's a tip. Don't be way drunker than your partner. <laughs> you'll get there, you'll sit down, the guys will breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And you're just, I oh, know. <laughs> I've never gone, oh shit, what do I do? What do I do? Hey, babe, babe, can you ring someone? What do we do? What do we do? Always be just as drunk as your partner and be thankful humans are the only animals getting hammered. <laughs> this world is as shambles as it is, let alone if hedgehogs were getting hammered, right? <laughs> you don't want a drunk hedgehog on your hands. I saw a hedgehog in real life recently. I've never seen one before, like not in real life. They are awesome. They're all like got their little schnozzles and their stone little eyes and they're all like, yeah. <laughs> just cruising around, eh? But they're dangerous. Also, here's another tip, never touch a hedgehog. <laughs> they're a lot sprickler than you imagine. I know they look sprickly, but I think you'd just go frrr and it'd be nice. But I touch it and it's like, ah! You don't want a drunk hedgehog because it's got way more weaponry than is needed. It's a cash pieced out animal. It's like a hippie walking around with 400 swords. <laughs> going, I don't want to fight, but if you attack me, I'll roll into a sword ball and cut your face off. <laughs> and you don't want drunk ants. You don't want drunk ants, mate. You don't want to be chilling out here while in your house, every ant is drinking schooners full of maduri, right? You don't want that happening. <laughs> Because here, listen to this, an ant can lift 50,000 times its own body weight. So you pull into your street and your house will be staggering down the road. <laughs> and what about gerbils? <laughs> hey, don't want gerbils getting hammered, sticking humans up their bums. That's not going to work, is it? Hey, thank you very much. I'm Dai Hemwood. Kia ora.